everyone so today's video is an update on a project pan this is the fall for you project pan and this is a collaboration with a bunch of other amazing people so I will have the playlist linked down below in the comments so you can go check out everyone else's videos and I will also have my playlist for this project pan linked down below if you didn't see my intro so basically this is a fall project pan obviously and it's using products that you just really love and enjoy so I have 10 products that I picked out and some of them I'm trying to finish some of them I'm trying to hit pan and others I just did a usage goal on and this project is three months long so some of the products I knew I couldn't finish in that amount of time but I did make some exciting progress, so let's just go ahead and get into the updates. So the first product is this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. And so where I started is about halfway, if you can see those markings, and then that's where I'm at now. So it took me about a month to use that much product, and I did use this 24 times. So... I mean clearly this doesn't last very long especially if you're using it every day so I don't know how good of value this is for your money since it took me a month basically it would only take me two months to completely finish this looking at my progress here so yeah I probably will end up repurchasing this though because I do really love this primer I think it's because the hyaluronic acid in here is really good for my dry skin so I do love a really moisturizing hydrating primer the next product is this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I have had this for a very, very long time. I'm pretty sure I got this when I first started getting into makeup, so it's probably like eight years old at least. And as you can see, I have hit pan on these two shades already, and I had already hit pan on those products when I rolled it in, so my goal is just to finish mainly this powder but I would like to finish both of these and I would also like to hit pan on both or either one of these bronzers. I do really enjoy these bronzers and I actually forgot how much I love them so I have been using these pretty much every day and I've also been using these powders. I just use to set them I just use them to set underneath my eyes and like my forehead area where, where I want a little bit of mattifying so I have been really enjoying using this again and I did use this 17 times since the last update and I will insert pictures of where I was when I first rolled it in so I have definitely expanded these two pans a lot and you can't see any progress in the bronzers just because I feel like they're so hard pressed and there's not really even a dip in either of them but I have definitely expanded both of these pans so I'm glad that I'm making a little bit of progress. Next is this Physicians Formula The Healthy Foundation and I believe this is getting discontinued and I do really love this foundation. It's a nice light glowy foundation and Physicians Formula is no longer cruelty free so I did want to work on kind of using this up a little bit so that maybe I can put it in a project pan at some point in the future. If you're wondering I am in the shade LN3 but I did only use this two times just because I had a foundation in my makeup rolling project pan that I was really trying to finish off. So now that that is almost gone, if you saw my makeup rolling project pan update, I will probably be using this a lot more. The next product is a finishing powder. This is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. And I'm not sure if you can even see, but there is a little bit of a dip going. It's very hard to tell, but the reason I think this is going to be a little bit more difficult to hit pan on is because I use this with a big fluffy brush, so I'm kind of wearing down the pan evenly. I'm not really dipping into the center and creating a big dip into it. So yeah, I, I hopefully I will hit pan on this by the end of the project, and I think it is possible. I'm just really not sure how long it will take and I did use this 10 times since the last update and I did have another finishing powder in another project so now that that is done I will probably also be using this more often so yeah I'm hoping I'll be able to hit pan on this and hopefully it won't take too long but I like that this is a three month project so I feel like it is enough time to get some really good usage out of products and hit pan. Another product that you can't really see any visible progress on is the ABH Amrezy Highlight and this is a very hard pressed highlight but it is very intense so you need the tiniest little bit 
and as you can see the waves are still in there and you can kind of see a little bit where I've used it but yeah I have been using this pretty consistently and I do really love this highlighter so it is really easy for me to use and I also don't have any highlighters in my other projects so I have been getting a lot of good use out of this one. I have used this 8 times since my last update and my goal is to use it 30. So I'm on track of using it 30 times over these 3 months. I just have to use it a little bit more in the coming months which I think will be pretty easy because I tend to want to reach for this highlighter a lot. And I totally forgot to say but my goal for my Physicians Formula Foundation is 25 uses and like I said I have used it two times but that usage will definitely increase in these next couple months so hopefully I will be able to hit my usage goal and then the next product is an eyeshadow palette that I rolled in this is the dose of colors baked browns and as you may know this is a five pan all matte palette and it's just a bunch of really pretty brown tones and my goal for this palette is to hit pan on these two shades the first one and then the third one when I rolled this in this was pretty much brand new so if you compare them to like this shade that I haven't really been using and these last two shades that I also haven't really used you can see the amount of usage on them so I put a pretty good dip in this first shade which I believe is called rock bottom maybe I don't know these shades on the back always confuse me but there is a pretty good dip going in there and I have obviously been using that as an all-over just like lid setting shade and this middle shade is a really pretty like one and done eyeshadow look so that's how I've also been using this or just as a transition shade in the crease and I have used this palette 18 times in total and these shadows are very powdery and do have a lot of kick up so I feel like this is one of the easier formulas to hit pan on so most likely I think I will definitely be able to hit pan on both of those shades by the end of this project and then I also rolled in another kind of little eyeshadow palette I wanted some shimmery glitter shadows to play with so I rolled in this Kaja Toasted Caramel Trio and I really love these as lid topper shades. They're just like the most pretty lid topper shades and it's almost, you can do like a wash of glitter with them but you can also bl build them up to be super metallic and intense. So these almost look wet on the lid and I think they're just so gorgeous. What I have been doing is all over my lid I'll put like on the outer part of the lid I'll put one of these deeper shades depending on how deep I want to go with my look. And then on the inner portion and middle part of the lid I will put this lighter shade and it just gives the prettiest gradient and these also are the perfect tones to go together. and. I think these two palettes go together really well obviously they're all like brown neutral tones so I have been really enjoying getting some use out of both of these and I have used this little trio five times and my goal is to use it 20 times in this project which I think is kind of a more difficult goal I set but I think I can definitely do it if I just remember to use these and I also just ended another one of my project pans where I had a couple eyeshadow palettes in so I think I will definitely get a lot more use out of these in the next couple months I also wanted to put a lip liner in this project and one of my favorite lip liner formulas is from ColourPop so I chose the shade 951 which is a little bit of a deeper warm tone shade and my goal was to basically use a portion of this and I have it marked on my paper but this shade is a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. This is what I have kind of on the outer portion of my lips today to create that gradient effect and what I have been doing is I have a lighter lip liner in my normal makeup project pan so I've been putting that on first just to kind of define my lips a little bit and get the outline and then I've been putting this on very very lightly so it's not as intense and I have been liking the way that looks and I find this is really good to create that kind of like natural shadow and create that gradient effect because this is so much deeper than my normal lip tone so yeah I have been really enjoying using this and I'm finding a way to use it even though it is a little bit deeper than I was expecting and especially if I want a deeper lip this is like the perfect liner and it's also on the more warm side and I have been really enjoying 
doing warm eyeshadow looks. So here is where I marked my progress and sorry if this is a little bit difficult to see but basically that is where we first started and then that's where I just marked my update so that's where I am right now and then this is my goal so it looks like we are on track to hit my goal with this and I'm about a third of the way, which is perfect. And I really didn't think I was going to make that much progress on this just because it's a lot deeper than I expected it to be. So I feel like I haven't been going through this or using it as much as I thought I would. I also rolled in a gloss from NYX. This is one of their butter glosses. This is in the shade Angel Food Cake. And it's a little bit of a cooler toned mauve color. And I do really love these glosses and this gloss formula. I have about eight shades in this formula. So I have been really enjoying using this and I like that it's a bit more of a cool tone. For when I want that kind of lip and my goal is to use this 20 times and I have used it six times already so I'm on a pretty good track to finish and hit my goal by the end of this project now there was one product that I kind of struggled with that basically I'm gonna end up rolling out but this is the Giorgio Armani lipstick in the shade 102 and it is a matte lipstick and it's a really pretty pink shade and I did really love the shade of this but I don't know if you can tell it's kind of like destroyed because the bullet like this whole bullet kept falling off when I would use it when I would try like obviously I wouldn't use it like this I'd roll it down but when I try to put it on my lips it just keeps like moving and breaking basically so as you can see it is a little bit kind of not looking too good so I ended up giving this to my mom because I just didn't want to deal with the messiness and grossness and this the bullet just kept falling off every time I would try to apply it so I am going to be decluttering this slash rolling it out of this project so to roll it back in the reason I decided to declutter this is because I went through my collection literally swatching every single one of my lipsticks and liquid lipsticks to try to find a shade dupe to this and I did so that's pretty much why I ended up decluttering it because I have a I found a, lip, a liquid lipstick that is basically the same exact shade and this is just annoying to use now and it's just a mess. So the product that I'm going to be rolling in instead of this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade Canes. So this is pretty much a perfect shade dupe for that. Obviously it's not the same formula but I like the formula of these a lot better so this I am actually more excited to use than I was to use that and this is what I have in the center of my lips right now and obviously I have that deeper lip liner underneath it so it might look a little bit deeper but I do really love the shade of this and this is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks formulas because it feels so comfortable on the lips so this actually ended up working out really well because I'm actually more excited to use this than I was to use that lipstick and now I have another lipstick I can declutter and that is out of my collection so yeah I'm super excited to get more use out of this and I set a goal to use this 20 times within the remainder of this project so that's 20 times in two months so basically I have to use it 10 times each month each month which I don't think will be too difficult but yeah hopefully I can hit that goal so that is it for this fall for you project pan update so we do have one more update and then the finale since this is a three month project and I'm really excited to continue using these products and to get even more use out of them so like I said I will have all of my project pan playlist linked down below along with the playlist for everyone that is doing this project so I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and I do post new videos three to four times a week so if you want to see more from me make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified every time I post thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time